Thank you very much, Shauna. We're here in Corso 32, and I'm joined by one of our sizzling 20 under 30, Daniel Costa, who is the chef and owner of this beautiful restaurant behind us right here. How are you doing? Doing very well. Uh, we want to know a little bit about Daniel Costa. I've, I keep hearing about you in reviews about the restaurant, but we really want to know your background. Now, how did you get started in this business? Um, when I was much younger, I, I always wanted to be a chef, and it just slowly evolved into me owning my own restaurant. And your parents always taught you cooking growing up as well? Yeah, more my father. I mean, my mom's uh, German and my father's Italian. I always kind of took to the Italian side of cooking. Mm -hmm. So we'd make our own wine and grow the vegetables and then take the vegetables and make a salad with them or whatever. So. And you're from right here in Edmonton. You went to Nate, the culinary uh, school over there, right? Yeah, I'm actually from uh, an acreage just outside of Devon. I'm not from directly in Edmonton, but yeah. Yeah. Um, love your restaurant here. I love the food. And you use local fare. Is that something really important that you try to incorporate in your menu a lot? We do. We, we support as many local farms and uh, local shops around us as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're a sizzling 20 under 30. Uh, obviously, you know that. Were you surprised when they told you that? Do you know what a sizzling 20 under 30 is? Um, I was surprised. And... Um, I'm not sure exactly what a sizzling 20 under 30 is, but... Somebody I'm who's glad, successful. <laughs> I'm glad to be a sizzler. Yeah. Uh, it has to do with looks as well, so apparently you're oh. a very handsome gentleman. Wow. <laughs> and who can cook? Hey! <laughs> eh? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Corso 32, how did this restaurant come out of, uh, come out of it? Um, I always wanted to open up a small restaurant, so it, um, this, this ended up being the space we had, and it just evolved into into whatever we had to work with. I used uh, Connect Architect, which is a local designer, and they they helped design the place. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of it doesn't even feel like Edmonton. It feels like we're in New York City. That's uh, has and, anybody and, told you that? Uh, yeah, a, lo a lot of people actually. A lot of the inspiration I traveled to New York as much as I can, and I probably traveled three or four times just prior to opening Corso. So mm -hmm. a lot of the inspiration comes from New York, for sure. For sure, and a big piece of, or a piece of the Big Apple in Edmonton, which is really nice. It's a, definitely a change. It's very urbanized uh, downtown here. Um, uh, what, what is in the menu for this season? Because I know that you're always changing your menu. It's never the same thing when you come here. Right, um, fall is gonna be coming soon, so a lot of the really fresh items are gonna start coming off. We're gonna start getting into more of the the autumn vegetables like pumpkin and sweet potato. Um, we're working on a, uh, a traditional lasagna bolognese with the really slowly cooked bolognese and then we're gonna fry the lasagna rather than just bake it. So th there's a lot of different menu items that are gonna be coming up. Oh wow, so somebody's gonna need to get me a towel for my drool here. <laughs> uh, Daniel, thank you very much. Uh, good luck in the rest of the year and congratulations on being a sizzling 20 under 30. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we'll be back after the break on Shaw TV.